Wow, breaking news. Magic the Gathering. I have not even... Magic the Gathering Arena. Okay, I'm like... I literally just turned on the camera as soon as I saw this. We have a major band ban announcement, as you can see here. And anybody who is... Uh, logged into Arena within the last, I don't know, hour or so. I had no idea this was coming. I actually had just finished a video this morning talking about how we needed to fix Standard, and now it seems that Wizards has gone ahead and pulled, like, has gone nuclear for this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first off, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, all that great stuff. Leet Largo slash... Leet... <laughs> Push that TV for slash Lee Largo. Okay. Standard. Wilderness Wreck. Gross Spiral. Teferi. Cauldron Familiar. Boom. Gone. That's crazy. I really was not expecting Cauldron Familiar, but Teferi, Gross Spiral, and Wilderness Reclamation. That completely changes the game here for a lot of ramp decks. Like this is this is some big stuff. Pioneer, Inverter of Truth. So now the Inverter deck is banned. And I th actually liked that deck. It was cool. Uh, Kethis, Walking Ballista, which is interesting. Uh, Underworld Breach. Historic, same thing. Wilderness, Teferi, gone. Bra well, yeah, uh, suspended, suspended. That means it could come back. They're going to see how it works in Historic. Uh, but Brawl, Teferi's banned. This is crazy. And as you can see here... In the last ban and restricted list, we chose not to make any changes to standard. At that time, the environment had just seen the results of players tours three and four. The companion rules change was recent, which I agree. They made they actually did a pretty good job regulating that. And Corset 21 just entered the format. While we saw new decks emerging, and ultimately the top decks were able to adapt and retain their metagame share. After watching the environment progress for several weeks and reviewing the deck list entries for the players tour finals, we've decided to make some changes to shake up the meta game. And boy, no, they did not just shake it up. They just caused an earthquake, in my opinion. This is big. This is probably one of one of the biggest bands I can remember of recent time. I mean, I could be wrong. I've been in and out of magic for a while, um, like in through throughout the years. This is my longest, uh, second longest time of actually being active and playing Magic. So this set of changes is a deviation from our usual banned list philosophy for Standard, and as such, we consider it an experiment. Hmm, okay. Outside of the t very top levels of competitive play, including throughout most of the MTG Arena traditional Standard ladder, we're seeing a good dist distribution of deck diversity in win rates. However, at the skill level of our most competitive tournaments and the mythic ranking on the arena ladder, we do see a small number of decks with high win rates and play rates that have remained in that metagame position for quite some time, i.e. ramp and uh, Jun sacrifice. Under our usual approach, we should have allowed standard rotation to provide a natural and predictable shift in the metagame with the release of Zendikar Rising, but in an era of social distancing, the proportion of standard play occurring on digital platforms has increased substantially. I commented on this before um, in a reaction video to um, uh, Acoria. As the rate at which players can rack up games of standard and digital is higher than in tabletop, we believe it's correct to enact metagame change at a faster rate as well. Therefore, we're making bans targeted at, targeted at weakening decks that have been strong and popular at the highest levels of competitive play, and at some cards and combos that have overstayed their welcome in the eyes of much standard community. <laughs> uh, that's that's a little dig at the Jun sacrifice, and I can honestly say that stupid cat has definitely overstayed its welcome. It can go into the cold and go into the witch's oven and stay there. <laughs> Ramp decks using Gross Spiral together made up 68% of the day one metagame. God, I, I I predicted this. I told I I was telling I was telling I was telling somebody that it was the players tour day one. Ramp was gonna be the number one deck, and it was probably and I'm, if I'm not surprised if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it won finals and uh, players tour finals and represent approximately 25 to 30 percent of the metagame as mythic ranking on the arena ladder. Within that category, Wilderness Reclamation decks have been considered the strongest archetype by much of the competitive community, making up 54%. That's over half of the metagame at the Players Tour Finals. And 15% of the Mythic metagame on Arena. In order to remove Reclamation decks from this most played spot and to reduce the metagame share of ramp decks in general, Wilderness Reclamation and Gross Spiral are banned. 
Another archetype that has maintained a high uh, win, win rate over a long period of time is Black, Red, or Jun Sacrifice featuring the Cauldron Familiar and Witches Oven combo. In addition to having high overall win rates, these decks put considerable pressure on aggressive and mid-range creature decks. Further, the number of triggers generated by these decks can be cumbersome for both players in digital play. To weaken this, these sacrifice strategies, open up more metagame diversity, and create a more fun gameplay environment, Cauldron Familiar is banned. Uh, this, this I feel like is kind of a weaker ban, like banning a, a single common card, but I understand it. Uh, I, I really do, I really do understand it. Uh, cause it means that the sacrifice deck can still kind of work with Witch's Oven. It's just not going to be anywhere near as, uh, potent as it used to be. I mean, you can still work with Mayhem Devil and Witch's Oven and the Serrated Scorpions and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, nowhere near as powerful. Finally, we'll, be we'll also be removing Teferi, Time Raveler. Uh, I'm uploading some stream highlights. So you get to see me co uh, make some comments about him <laughs> uh, in, a little, uh, in the next video from the environment. We've often heard the feedback that the repetitive play patterns and reduced capability for interaction that Teferi Time Raveler can create feel oppressive and limiting. While we'd consider banning Teferi in past updates, one reason we didn't was evidence that it was helping hold Wilderness Reclamation decks in check. With Wilderness Reclamation leaving the environment, we feel it's also time for the standard metagame to move on without Teferi. We note that Growth Spiral, Wilderness Reclamation, and Teferi were already slated to rotate this fall with the release of Zendikar Rising. With that in mind, we view this set of changes as an early rotation for those cards and to help freshen up the remaining summer metagame. In the case of Cauldron Familiar, we're taking the opportunity not only to improve the metagame short term, but also remove a balance risk and undesirable play pattern leading into next year. Hmm. Does that mean that there was maybe some other janky stuff in Zendikar Rising that could interact with that deck in particular? Maybe. Who knows? We'll see eventually. We emphasize that these changes are to a large degree, blah, 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 blah. So... Excuse me. All right, I'm not going to go through this entire thing because I'll be sitting here reading this to you forever. But this this is huge, huge news. And this, of course, they did this the last time they had an arena open uh, when it came to companion decks. Um, as soon as as uh, as soon as wait wait did they? Okay, now I'm getting now I'm getting kind of lost in like the uh, ban announcements and rule changes and stuff. Anyway. Of course, they wait until after the arena open and another player's tour. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. Everybody's already set up their decks and know what they're going to play. So, um, uh, but yeah, they did. It's about time. I'll say this. It's it's right at the right time. They should have done it. Uh, but wow, I mean, I was not. I, I literally, I haven't even been on social media really at all today. I literally just turned on Arena, was doing something else, looked over, and uh, just saw the following cards are now banned. I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.